TMC will be getting close to 20 seats, while the NPP will just about cross the single digit with great difficulty. This is what the leader of opposition, Dr. Mukul Sangma, believes. And in an, in an exclusive conversation with our chief of bureau, Arindam Das, a confident Mukul Sangma said that although the exit poll predictions indicate a fractured result, one has to wait for tomorrow to know what really is the mandate of the people. And speaking to Notice Live, the TMC leader said that the NPP's leadership will break for the alleged irregularities in the last five years. And if that was not all, he even termed the NPP as the quote-unquote chief patrons of corruption. Let's listen in. Here with us, former Meghala chief minister and TMC leader Dr. Mukul Sangma will sir, immediately after the polling was over, the exit poll results came out. What do you have to say about the exit poll, which has predicted again a hung and fractured mandate in Meghalaya? Yeah, we expected a mandate which should be more decisive, but as per the inputs that's coming from the ground zero, maybe it's uh, uh, going to be the repeat of the preceding elections. And nevertheless, uh, what is important is to see uh, as to how we respect the mandate of the people and accordingly decide the future course of action. Well, sir, it has been shown in the race that mm. NPP comes first, then comes TMC, then mm. comes BJP. Mm. What do you have to say on it? NPP will have, will just cross uh, this single digit with great difficulty. That's the reality. Okay. What are you predicting for TMC, sir? TMC, uh, close to 20. Close to 20. Yeah. Well, we sir, might cross 20, but we are keeping it around that. Yesterday, Meghalaya Chief Minister and NPP National President met NEDA Convener and Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himoto Bishu Sharma in mm -hmm. Guwahati. What do you have to say on it? That's nothing unexpected, and uh, this will always be there. Uh, but most important thing is to understand uh, with complete clarity whether the mandate of the people will be respected or not. It's in a democracy, it's very important to respect the mandate of the people. At the same time, please also be reminded of the fact that it was none other than the leadership of the BJP who have tech. Meghalaya with that uh, infamous take of being the number one corrupt state. Now, when you give this kind of infamous tag, uh, the Meghalaya is number one uh, corrupt state in the whole country, then who is corrupt? Are the people corrupt or the people who are in authority? That means people who are in authority, the government which was instrumental in creating this overall kind of, you know, uh, with impunity, allowing this uh, engagement in irregularities and alleged corruptions with impunity of such a scale, which shouldn't have happened and which cannot happen unless there's a patronage from the authorities concerned. So therefore, is BJP trying to promote corruption in my state and inflict uh, irreversible damage in the fiscal health of the state? That is what is required to be seen, we will wait and watch. So as parlays between BJP top brass and NPP top brass has already started, are you also moving ahead with parlays right now? We have all our own way of, uh, you know, uh, putting the cards on the table and we will move on that direction. Yeah. So if required, how many parties will be needing? Let me, let me keep the cards close to my chest. Yeah. But NPP will not be an option, BJP will not be an option? The NPP will break. The NPP will break, number one, because the leadership has been uh, alleged of uh, being the patron, the chief patrons of the huge irregularities and huge alleged corruption that has taken place in the last five years. Therefore, if you want to protect the interests of the state, which is the responsibility of everyone and every political party, then you have to understand that the leadership uh, of the uh, NPP per se cannot be allowed to further continue in their alleged activities which will inflict so much of irreversible damage in the fiscal health of the state. So, as you were saying, NPP will break. So, will some winning candidates of NPP move towards you? Please wait and watch. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That was uh, former Chief Minister of Meghalaya and TMC leader Dr. Mukul Sangma speaking exclusively to Northeast Life. Reporting from Tura with Kamal Prasad Nobo, this is Arindam Das for Northeast Life.